back to side high tech in this video i'm going to go do a tear down of this smart led light bulb i want to see how this works and i want to see if there's any parts that are worth salvaging let's get started first i'm going to start by removing the globe that is on this led light bulb i find that using a hot air gun works the best by melting the adhesive that is holding the two parts together and now pry it open and there i am now the globe removed and i can use this globe to use for future projects Hmm, that's actually very useful. Now I have right here the LED circuit, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the screwdriver and remove this LED circuit. I can probably use these surface mount LEDs to be able to use for future projects. Not too sure what, but I'll think, but I'll think of something. So now what I'm going to try to do is remove this LED circuit, pop it open with using the screwdriver, and there we go, comes off just like that. Hmm, you can see the thermal paste that keeps the LEDs cool. Interesting. Okay, so this LED circuit could potentially be useful. I have to test it out to see if I can do anything with this. Okay, so now what I need to do is I'm going to remove all of this silicone to be able to see if I can remove this little piece of metal that is separating the circuit. There we go. Pry it open and pull it off just like that. And there, the circuit is inside. Oh, how interesting. So I can see all of the circuit inside is covered in this silicone glue. So what I'm going to do is take my hacksaw and cut it open, just like this. And as you can see, the circuit goes down much deeper than I thought. Well, as you can see, I've damaged the circuit. I didn't realize it goes down this deep, and the whole thing is completely covered in silicone. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pop it out and see if there's anything that's worth salvaging still. Oh, and as you can see, I have the Wi-Fi board. Now that I could potentially use. What I'm going to do is remove all of that silicone to see if I can be able to access any components. Alright, so now I'm going to do the same thing with this part here. And there we go, this half is now removed, and there's not that many components worth salvaging, except for maybe a few high voltage capacitors, some resistors, and that inductor. Could potentially use some of these, but I'm not really sure. So now I'm going to go and see if I can remove this Wi-Fi board and to be able to salvage for the components. And here are the components that I have salvaged. I have right here a 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a 220 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, an inductor, I'm not sure how many microhenries it is but I have to measure that another little high voltage capacitor, a 5.6k ohm resistor, a small little transistor, I have right here a transformer, and this LED panel with surface mount LEDs which I'll probably use in future projects, although some of them don't work, and this Wi-Fi board which can be potentially useful, and as you can see I've salvaged all the components that's on this board, and I left some of these surface mount ones. The reason why I left the surface mount ones is so that way I can salvage them later. I could remove them now, but they're so small I could lose them. So I'm going to keep them on the board so that way I won't lose them. This globe can be very useful for future projects because I like how well it dispersed the LED light. And then I have these components here, which I have damaged by trying to pull them out of the circuit, and those are obviously not useful. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of a smart LED light bulb and what kind of components that are worth salvaging. And there you have it. Thank you for watching Side High Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future Side High Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.